Hi, I'm Scott Mueller, president of Mueller Memorial and author of the best-selling book, What to Know Before You Go. And I'm going to answer one of, the best, one of the biggest questions that we get asked with regards to cremation is, hey, how much does cremation cost and what's really involved? So let me give you the short course right now. Now, in order to give you cremation costs, I kind of have to define that there are three different levels of service when it comes to a cremation service. So let's start with A. A is a complete cremation service, which means uh, it, us it usually means that the body is going to be uh, at a visitation, probably with an open casket visitation, brought to the church, cremation follows the church service, and then is buried in a cemetery, likely buried in a cemetery afterwards, or the ashes are dealt with by the family after the fact. Now in this kind of a situation, it's very complete and it includes everything, it includes even the casket. Now let me tell you briefly about that. You do not have to buy a casket for cremation. We wouldn't talk you into something like that. So what we have is a ceremonial casket and what a lot of other people call a rental casket. Now this casket looks like a wood casket as you find any place else, but it allows us to remove the, uh, the container from inside and it provides a container that's required by the state to go to the crematory so there's no additional purchase there. And then we completely uh, exchange the interior in it. All in, that type of service is about $7,800. Next one is uh, cremation with a memorial service. Now, cremation with a memorial service is uh, typically done where the cremation takes place first, the ashes are put out for the visitation or the reception, and usually the night before, and then probably the day, the day of the service too, where a service might be done at the church or at the funeral home. Again, we go to the burial after that or give them to the, give them to the family for whatever they plan on doing with, uh, with the ashes. That service all in is about $5,700. Now for some people, all they want is cremation service and maybe they're gonna do their own kind of thing later or maybe they're not gonna do anything. So a cremation with no services is still gonna include all of the services that we provide to everybody else, which includes putting together the obituary, uh, calling that into the newspaper, uh, guiding the family on what the best choices are, and also our website, which our website is a great way to notify people about the death after the fact, and it's very, very robust. I recommend, if you haven't gotten there from here, that you should go there, and it's at MuellerMemorial.com. But this service is about $3,500. Now, can't talk about this without talking about some of the other things that are part of, a, part of a cremation service, but often get forgotten. The one is to plan, what's the plan for the ashes? Now, as a funeral director, we'll always sit with a family and counsel them on this, because a lot of times families, if they don't have cemetery property, or they don't have a plan to scatter them, or maybe place them in the lake or the river, which you can all do, they may just say, well, we'll bring it home and we'll think about it later. Here's what almost always happens. If the ashes go home, they never find another home. They end up staying in the closet, on the, on the, on the shelf, or something like that, and it becomes something that is in the back of your mind and it kind of gnaws at you. It's a lot like doing your taxes. Uh, you hate doing them. You put it off for as long as you possibly can, yet when you do it, you feel pretty relieved that it's done. That's the case with the ashes. So we're gonna help you work on that for the plan for that. An urn is really not necessary to purchase from us. Um, most people do, but about a third of the people actually bring in something that they think is going to be uh, perfect for what we might use. So let me give you an example. We've used a fellow's ski boots. We've used a sewing kit. We've even used a minnow bucket, and those of you my age and above can remember the galvanized steel minnow bucket. It may seem disrespectful, but if you knew the guy, everybody who came in knew that that was fitting for that person. So you might have something at home that you can use for an urn, and that would be just fine, and that's fine with us. You do not have to buy one from us or from any other funeral home. And then the last thing to think about is, how do you, how do you remember this person? Most people my age or above are saying nowadays, hey, I don't want a funeral. I want a party. And so we've been listening to that for a long time. So we're the first funeral home in the United States 
to have actually put a bar into our funeral home. Now, you can use it for either beer or wine. You can use it for full bar service. We can cater in food, or we can just use it for the basics, which is water and lemonade and coffee and that type of thing. But all we're trying to do is we're trying to change this visit for a, uh, that a family makes to stop in and, and see you, to change it from an obligation to an event. If we can get them to stick around longer, they feel better about it and so do you. So that gives you a pretty good primer on, on prices for cremation. But you may have some additional questions or want an estimate made for yourself and we're happy to do it. So if you want to, just call us up at 651-774-9797. We'll send you a price list or we can send you a copy of my best-selling book, What to Know Before You Go. Thank you.